They will always ask you, should I carry your bag? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm filming from Changsha from my really super awesome hotel room at Intercontinental Hotel. Yay! Oh! <laughs> So today's video is going to be about Chinese boyfriends again because I just love talking about dating and I can see on my analytics that you guys really love to watch the videos about dating. So I thought uh, why not just keep going, yay, it's fun, yeah! So today's video is called the 10 perks of having a Chinese boyfriend and without further ado, let's get started! Number one is that your Chinese boyfriend will definitely carry your bag or your purse. A lot of foreign girls here, they don't like that. I don't understand it because it's not like the guy is coming to see you and just grabbing your little glitter purse. It's not like that. But if you're carrying a bigger backpack on your bag or like a smaller whatever, something more heavy, they will always ask you, should I carry your bag? I love that. I think that is a super perk of uh, dating Chinese guys. Number two is more texting. Yay! So Ling Ling is a social butterfly, media butterfly, and I love to talk to people on my phone. I'm very social. I talk a lot, if you didn't know. Surprise! Um, and if I'm in love with somebody, I want to talk to them all the time. But my problem is always, well, before when I was with foreign guys, it would be a struggle. Like they'd be like, why do you want to talk to me like more than once a day? And I'm just like, I want to talk to you all the time. I want to be together with you all the time, but that's not possible, so I want to talk to you. It's very easy with Chinese guys because they are used to these requirements and they always text you back immediately. It's so great. I feel important. I love that feeling. Number three, when you're dating Chinese guys, you always get to experience a new culture. So before I started dating Chinese guys, I was crazy in love with Chinese culture as well so dating people from that culture just made it even more interesting more fun because I learned a lot about the culture beforehand but being with somebody who is in the culture you just learn even more it's amazing how you experience and explore and you also learn a lot about your own culture because you see oh there are cultural differences you can talk about it you can discuss it and explore it together Number four, another super great thing about dating Chinese guys is that they care so much. Sometimes it's a little too much, but usually, I, I don't know, I just got more used to it now. So actually, I remember after I've been dating Chinese guys for a while, then I might, I don't know, then I went with a foreign friend or something, and then they wouldn't ask me if I was hungry, or they wouldn't ask me if they should carry my bag, and I'd be like, why are you not asking? <laughs> so, because I got used to the Chinese way of dating. One guy, he actually, we were dating and we, because I'm in a dorm, so sometimes we need uh, to stay in a hotel room if we want to stay together for a longer time, right? So I would find a really cheap hotel room and then he'd be like, no, 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 sweetie. I'm going to find a better room because I don't want to take you to a lousy hotel. And this is not the first time I've tried this. Also before, when I dated another guy, who was also a student and we had to find a hotel room then he would be like yeah it has to be this price and I was like come on we can just have our cheaper one I also traveled with one guy it was always a problem because I was like no we can just stay in this really cheap hotel and he was like no I'm not gonna do that with you so he signed up for a Hilton membership ship, sh membership <laughs> membership and then he would take me to these really nice Hilton hotels and it's just a very common thing here in China with the Chinese guys that's really one of the perks of number five is that the Chinese guys are so romantic like very often they don't really tell your feelings like straight away they're not that straightforward but what they do oh my god one guy I saw him for six weeks and during those six weeks he bought me three three presents yeah one was just because I'd been talking about licorice so he ordered licorice on Taobao and gave it to me oh my god I also talked about a chocolate Christmas calendar and he gave that to me as well and before I was leaving for Denmark I had to go home for Christmas he also gave me a Christmas present and I was just like oh my god I didn't give you anything I'm so sorry so freaking romantic another guy that was doing Chinese New Year I was in China he was in Denmark he asked his mother to go and buy roses for me and give it to me just because he was not there and I was like 
oh my god and I didn't give you anything I feel so bad every single time because they're way more romantic than me <laughs> number six yeah if you don't have a friend to go shopping with then the Chinese boyfriends they're very used to that as well in China it's super common to see couples walk around do shopping either shopping shopping or window shopping whatever kind of shopping the guys are with the girls they spend time together like that so if you're having a Chinese boyfriend don't worry you can always bring him out shopping he might even pay for your purchases <laughs> <laughs> I know, I usually don't allow them to do that, but uh, if he has enough money, then uh, he, he might he might ask you. Number seven, a perk of staying with a Chinese boyfriend, yeah, is that you're learning a new language. This is from my personal experience, but I have almost never met any foreign girls who dated Chinese guys, but dated in English. Yeah, I know. Usually they date in Chinese because either the guys don't speak uh, English or they don't want to speak English. I've tried this many times before as well. We started in English, but then it turned into Chinese and then in the end it was only Chinese. Everyone is speaking either a mix of English and Chinese or only Chinese. So you can learn a new language and Mandarin is very difficult. So a good way to learn a language is actually to get a Chinese boyfriend. If you want to learn Mandarin, obviously. <laughs> yeah, if you want to learn Portuguese, probably not the best idea. Just saying. <laughs> Number eight! So if you are a very family oriented girl or you want to get married soon, you want a family and you want to have it with your Chinese boyfriend, then one perk of dating a Chinese guy is that they're not afraid of marriage. You can easily talk to them about it and if their parents accept you, then it's gonna be all good and you guys can get married and have lots of babies in, yeah, very short amount of time. <laughs> That's a really cool thing and also after having Babies, as I said, they are very family oriented, a lot of them, so if you're, um, so when you're together as a family, he's gonna help you take care of the babies and be really good to get that, and, but, but, just gonna remind you, he's also gonna go to see his parents a lot, especially if they're living nearby, that's a common thing, and also when you're having a Chinese baby or with a Chinese guy, then the mother-in-law, she might move in, yeah, to sing. <laughs> That, that's that's the part I'm I'm not so happy about. <laughs> it makes me a little nervous. <laughs> that's one of the things where I'm like, yeah, I should probably not marry a Chinese guy. But anyways, obviously everyone is different, but that's just what I've seen uh, my friends and, and people around. When I'm talking about these foreign friends, I said my foreign girlfriends they're dating Chinese guys, it's because I'm a part of a WeChat group where everyone is married to Chinese. So that's where I get all my experience from, also my own experience obviously, but I mix it. It's not only my personal experience, like from the group. That's just a disclaimer. Ah. Number nine! This one is really cool because Chinese people don't celebrate Christmas. So you don't have to fight with your husband or boyfriend about where to go for Christmas because it will always be your family's house. Ah, how cool is that? And then Chinese New Year is like one month later and you'll go to his house. Number 10! This one is a little shallow or superficial, but I still want to include it, you know. You get the most beautiful mixed babies and your babies are gonna be bilingual, which is gonna be really good for them later on in life, especially because Chinese is a very important language in the world and it's only gonna be more important, so. That's really cool. Those were the 10 things I had collected for you guys today. I hope that you liked this little video. As I said, this is just in general what I've experienced and my friends have experienced. I don't know, maybe there are some people who don't do that. Obviously there are, but this is just what I've seen and heard. And yeah, please give me a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling's out. See ya and 再见. Bye bye.